Hey yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another juicy episode coming out of my front yard. My neighbors are probably gonna think I'm a little crazy after this episode, but everything's online, man. If they wanna check out the channel, they wanna check out what I'm doing, all they have to do is go to YouTube, type in Kicking Their Bass TV and they check it out. But thank you guys so much for the support lately. The videos have been, they've been all right. I've been trying so hard to produce content lately and today I'm, I'm apologizing because there's not a fishing video today it's I mean there's a fishing video this is fi fishing video there's not a fish catching video today I actually filmed one I just got back from filming one and I was gonna post it tonight but I honestly was like there is no way I'm gonna be able to edit this whole thing and make it an actual killer video if I was gonna rush it so I don't want to rush that I want to provide you guys with the best content as possible so today I am gonna be talking about a subject that you guys really wanted to know and you guys commented on one of my recent videos which was my top three favorite bass fishing baits or top three best bass fishing baits pretty much of all time in my opinion these are the top three best bass fishing baits but all on all these are my top three favorite i would throw them anytime i love these baits they're just killer they're amazing it is slightly sprinkling and i'm praying that it doesn't rain because we have to get through this video but let's go ahead and get it started so when it comes to bass fishing everybody really has their preferred baits that they just love you know there's so many baits out there we can't really layer it down to three baits like these are this is a fact like these are the three best baits of all time no one can really do that because it's all on really what you're comfortable with what you enjoy throwing and what really catches fish and you know one one thing that I've really noticed is a confidence bait. You know, there's a few baits out there that you just have a lot of confidence in, therefore you're gonna catch a lot more fish because, you know, you're focused or you're working it the right way. You're not just sitting out there throwing it and reeling it in or you're not like down thinking a fish isn't gonna bite it. You know, a lot, of, a lot of it has to go with confidence and you have a confidence in a certain bait and it's gonna allow you to catch more fish. So I picked out two moving baits and one bait that's gonna be a slow moving bait or a bait that you'd work on the bottom. That's pretty much what I picked out for this episode. So there's gonna be reasons why I picked out these three. And the first one I'm gonna be talking about is an old chatterbait. And this is my chatterbait box right here. I pretty much have all different sizes, all different colors that I will need, if, whether I'm going to, you know, Seminole or I'm going to Gunnersville or heck, I'm gonna go throw a chatterbait on Lanier, which I usually don't do, but maybe I wanted to one day. And I have colors for, you know, any lake possible that I would wanna to go to in this box. So here's a little video of inside that box, as you guys can tell a lot of juiciness right up in here and there's a lot of different colors if i could layer this down pretty much the one color that is my favorite of all time with the chatterbait it's either going to be white or it's going to be like a peanut butter and jelly color with a gold blade those two i've absolutely killed some fish on a white chatterbait you can never go wrong with the white chatterbait green pumpkin chatterbait gosh you can kill them on that as well also even a black and blue i mean there's so many so many good chatterbaits out there just like that one it is sometimes hard to choose but if i have to open my box and you know there's a color i'll have a lot of confidence in and a bait that you know i'm gonna go catch fish on it's either gonna be you know like a white or like a natural green pumpkin or probably you know a peanut butter and jelly color absolutely smack them on this bait and i know you guys are probably asking when would you throw this bait why would you throw this bait you know what what are the locations where where would you end up throwing this you know are you going to throw this in deep water or shallow water and for you guys that don't know too much about chatterbaits i love to rip a chatterbait through grass i love the slow reel of chatterbait by some lay downs and some trees I love to throw a chatterbait when fish are chewing on some bait, obviously. You know, you got that little shad imitation, you can throw that old white one. You know, fish are chasing a lot of bait and you can absolutely smack them on it. But a majority of the time, I'm gonna be throwing this around some cover, like some, some lay downs in the water, you know, slow rolling that thing, bumping against those little trees. And God, I'm telling you, those fish cannot, they cannot stand it, guys. They, they just absolutely tear it up. Also, when you're fishing some, you know, thick grass, I love to rip a chatterbait through that, just like I would like a trap and i promise you it catches a lot of fish and one thing i've noticed about a chatterbait is pretty much it catches quality i really noticed that with the chatterbait i usually don't catch too many fish below two pounds i don't i seem to catch bigger fish on a chatterbait so if i'm going out in a tournament you know i got five fish in the box i'm hunting for a big one i usually have a chatterbait on just because you know that's my confidence bait within this whole college fishing i've been doing and the tournaments i've done good at or the tournaments that I've been my best tournaments. Like I had a top three finish at Winya Bay, which is a three day tournament. Pretty much every single fish came on a chatterbait and all the big ones came on a chatterbait. I think we had 15 fish within three days because it was a limit each day, we had a limit each day. Probably 13 of the fish came on a chatterbait and they were just 
choking in the back of their throat, just wrecking them on that thing. So that is my first number one bait. Shallow water, I would be going with the chatterbait. Chatterbait, hands down, killer bait, catches a lot of fish, catches quality fish. Well, I have one more moving bait I would like to talk about, and it's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be a bait that I would throw in some deep water. A majority of the time, I have thrown this bait in shallow water, and you can catch fish in some shallow water on this bait, but preferably i usually throw this thing in some deep water and i've caught so many massive fish so many big fish on this bait and it is going to be a standard old fish head spin i've been with this company for a while now i mean i've been with fish head for probably five years and gosh i just am in love with the fish head I, I, I love it and i ain't just saying this because oh i'm sponsored by this company you can go watch my videos i've caught so many fish on this not recently because i've been fishing a lot of shallow water places or rivers or river systems whatever it is but on lake lanier hartwell ah, i'm telling you i've caught so many fish on this bad boy i remember two years when i was fishing high school i literally only had this and a wobble head tied on and that is literally all i fished because those are my two confidence baits and i would just kill them on this thing i have a lot of videos on how to fish this if you guys would like to see a how to fish video on this fish head be sure to pepper that thumbs up button and let me know in the comment section and i'll be sure to tell you uh teach you guys how to fish this bait because it's not really like any other bait out there and you're going to be needing to work this thing right i see so many people throw this bait wrong and i know that sounds kind of crazy throwing a bait wrong you know most of the time a moving bait you're just gonna throw out and reeling in but that's not the case with this bait you need to know how to work it to catch a lot of fish on it and if you guys are wondering what i want to pair this up with is reaction innovations little dipper and white trash right there this is my one of my favorite you know soft plastic swim baits that i've used for quite some time now i've been using these for like five six years and gosh i'm telling you and this is a half ounce fish head if you guys were wondering just a little little dipper you can put a bigger swim bait on if you'd like i'm gonna show you just plop this thing right through the head of it come right on out boom that is an old fish head spin right there this is just a standard old underspin but this is the original the original fish head spin it, this is a fish catching machine. I remember I, I fished a I fished a day out there with Isaac and I was fishing with my buddy Weston and we caught almost 90 fish on this bait. Almost 90 fish. Slow rolling this thing on the bottom. And it is it is a killer, killer, killer bait. If you guys haven't thrown one, I would definitely go check them out. You can actually find these at Dick Sporting Goods or you can go to Fish Head. I mean go on their website and go check them out as well. This uh and moving on to the third and final bait that I love, one of my favorite baits of all time, and it's not really one bait. I'm sorry, but it's not really one bait. I, I had a really hard time choosing a bottom bait or a slow fishing bait to pick for this. So I chose a few and I'm gonna show you guys. So as you guys can tell right here, this is my old little drop shot box. I got some hooks, weights, everything you need for a drop shot in here. I think a drop shot is a very, very, very productive way to catch some fish, whether it's tough, whether the fish are chomping, anytime, deep deep water, shallow, I mean, anywhere. You know, whether you're gonna be dropping on, you know, next to some bridges, you're gonna be fishing out deep, or you're gonna be throwing it, or you're gonna be just dropping it straight down on some fish, dropping it in some brush piles. That bait right there will catch fish, no matter the conditions, whatever it is, and you'll have a productive day on. When it comes to putting baits on this rig, I really love a robo worm. I really like to nose hook a little robo worm on there. I've caught a ton of fish on them. Or you can just put like a little old minnow, just depending on what the fish want that day. I've seen it when you're throwing a drop shot, you know, those fish don't want a certain color. They won't even touch it. Like I'm dropping the drop shot down on these fish with a pink worm and they won't even touch it. They might follow it down, but they won't eat it. They're clearly not biting it. You're watching the fish nose up to that bait, but they do not want it. So then you might switch over to a green pumpkin. You just kind of got to figure out what they want, but a drop shot is such a great way to catch some fish. I'm, I'm telling you, it has saved my butt in many of tournaments. And then another little bait, pretty much the last one, or I got one more, is the old Texas rig right there. It's got a little standard old lead weight EWG hook. Got some little pegs just in case I gotta peg it. And I simply throw a little old speed crawl on there. And that is a way to catch some fish if they're slow, if they're in some lay downs. I love to throw that bad boy in. This is actually a box I made last video if you guys watched that. If you guys haven't watched it, I suggest you go check it out. That is an another amazing slow, slow moving bait, little finesse bait. And then also the last one I'm gonna be talking about is a bait I'm actually new to and I've been using it a lot lately as you guys know in the videos. And it's just a little old Ned rig. And I have been killing them on this guys. I have really been catching a lot of fish on this bait and I am a true believer in it. Really great finesse bait. This is just a finesse turds, finesse, finesse TRD right there. Let me show you what a Ned rig looks like if you guys don't already know. Pretty much looks like a little baby Sanko. You just don't put it on one of those little, little old Ned rig uh, jig heads and then it's made out of that last text so it's very stretchy you're going to be able to catch a lot of fish on this and that bait is killer as well so when the fishing is tough guys drop shot ned rig you know your texas rig also shaky heads 
all great baits right there. I can't really decide on one slow moving bait. If I was going and fishing some deep water, if I was going on Lanier and I wanted to fish something on the bottom, I'm throwing a fish head spin. I'm telling you, fish head spin 100%. And then if I'm gonna be fishing shallow, I'm gonna be fishing some grass, you know, whatever it is. If I'm fishing shallow in general, I'm always gonna have a chatter bait on my boat. I think it's one of the best baits out there. It catches big fish. Same with the fish head spin. I've caught multiple actually this year or last December, or it might've been this year, maybe last November, I caught like three or four, seven pounders on it. Just, I've caught some big fish on that bait. So those are my three favorite bass fishing lures. If you guys wanna see some more videos like this where I show you guys, you know, my favorite baits or best all around baits, whatever it is, be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know which ones you would like to see next. Like I said, I'm so sorry there's not a fishing video today. I did go out and film one, but it's just not gonna be done for you guys to watch. But that is coming Tuesday. So be sure to press that subscribe button. And also there's a little bell next to it. So you turn on post notifications. So it uploads you when I, when it uploads you. So it updates you when I upload a video. But thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to pepper that like button up as well. And I will catch you all in the next video. I got sky like the brother man, uh I cry cars get hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with that, uh I get it, get it up uh, anyway, uh pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars cook every day, uh I get money up uh, every day, uh